talk about stoichiometry and gravimetric analysis. And gravimetric analysis just means that you're going to weigh the final product. So we're going to go through the example that's in the book where you're looking at how much iron is in an iron-containing uh, vitamin. So basically what you have is an iron uh, bound up in a, with a binder. And uh, so you're going to just dissolve it and filter away the binder. And you're going to be left with iron 2 aqueous, an aqueous iron 2 species. So then you're going to oxidize it using hydrogen peroxide and acid and end up with iron, aqueous iron 3. So you just took away another electron. And so then you have aqueous iron 3 plus uh, a strong base, and you can you form uh, iron oxide called ferrihydrite here, um, FeOH, and then you heat that, heat that, and it transforms into Fe2O3. That's actually called a mineral called hematite. Um, and so then you just weigh that. And this seems super complicated. And when you guys start reading these problems, what is I know that it can be very overwhelming when you read this word problem and it's describing this whole process and you don't, you're not familiar with the process and it has all these numbers and all these reactions and it's a little frightening. Um, but don't get overwhelmed, like resist the urge to get overwhelmed or if you feel overwhelmed just take a deep breath and think about what it's actually, you know, just write down these equations. That's, that's the first step. And so, but I mean this is all interesting and this is all important. But when you boil it down to simple sugars, it's actually much easier. So we weighed this, and we want to calculate how much of the iron is, is in the initial vitamin. So, basically, you can sort of boil this down. I know it's not balanced, but you have iron uh, in the vitamin going to iron 2 plus, to iron 3 plus, to ferrihydrite, to hematite. So, um, but this is... And this is relatively a simple cal this is actually a relatively simple calculation. You take the grams of the hematite um, time di divided by the molecular mass or the formula mass um, of the hematite, and then you end up with um, moles of iron or moles of hematite, and you have two irons in one two iron two moles of iron per mole of hematite. So you just do the mole cancellation. Um, and then you have one mole of iron in one mole of this uh, vitamin, uh, iron organic complex. So then you have the moles, you find that way, you can find the moles of iron per, per tablet or however, um, however many tablets you use. So then if you have moles of iron in the tablet, then you multiply it by the molecular weight of iron and divide it by the mass of the tablet and then you end up with grams of iron per grams or per grams of the tablet. You can convert that to weight percent or parts per million, parts per billion, any way you want to do it. It's um, that's not as important as just being able to sort of think through these uh, relatively complex word problems. Um, and we'll practice doing that in class. <laughs>